Arthur, The Lake, by Sebastian Bonchkiewicz. With Ben Wishaw as Arthur, Ian McDermott as Merlin, and Jane Lapater as the narrator. Majesty! Later, Bedbeer! I want you to tell the Princess Gwenva! What? She wishes to speak with you urgently! Is the fortress secured? It is! And is an escort prepared for the Princess? It's ready to leave for Kylie on as soon as you give word. Excellent. Oh. Should we wait for you, Majesty? Yes, wait. Where's Merlin? Merlin has left Tintagel. He's what? Days ago. And nobody thought to tell me? Oh, we thought you must know. But did he say where he was going? No, Majesty. Nothing? Not to me. No! Is there something I could do, Majesty? Can you bring back the horses? The horses, Majesty? Merlin had no right to leave without my say-so. Shall I send out riders? It's too late for that, much too late for that. I'm sorry, Majesty, I don't understand. A Keir of Cantia's estate, Bedvere. The horses, oh. Bedvere, the horses. You couldn't say he hasn't changed, my sisters and brothers. Come over here. That tender-eyed boy who now strides across this barren expanse of sand and shingle in the shadow of Tintagel. It was Gaura who showed me. Gaura? Lord Actor's cook. She was there when I visited the estate in Cantia last month. Surprised she even spoke to me. You are her king. Not to her. To her, I'm still plain Aaron. Victor's errant stable boy. Hold up, Aaron, will you? It's Arthur, Gowra. My name is Arthur. Aaron, Arthur, can't be expected to keep up with all these names. Can we slow down, please? I am your king, and you do well to remember that. Quite the proper bully, aren't we? I could have you killed for saying so. At this rate, I'll be dead before I reach the hilltop. You know, on my way back here, I was actually looking forward to seeing you, Gowra. Honours, I'm sure. Better days are coming. But our Lord Hector's not coming back, is he? I know you blame me for his death. Not me, Aaron. My Lord died a warrior, as he would have wished. But Kira took it badly. Kira and I have made the peace. They say he wounded you. He almost killed me. Is the wound healed? As good as. Show me. As ever, you forget oh, yourself. Come on. Oh. It no longer pains. Kira did this to you. And now the peace is made. Oh, don't change the damage done, does it? The civil war is over. Kier has acknowledged me as his king. So should you. I'm just a cook. The business of kings don't concern me, Aaron. It's Arthur. Whoever. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Look at these hills. Just magnificent. The years I spent up here. You were always unhappy. Not when I was with the horses. Not then. Those were the happiest times. Pity you didn't stay with them then, like I told you to do in London. The gods called me. <sighs> Silly boys chasing after swords in stones, and look what happens. The whole world falls apart. So, where are they? Where are what? The horses. No horses here. Did Keir take them? No. Then what? You brought bad luck to this house, Aaron. Where are they? Someone gave the order to cut off all food in Tecantia. Meaning? We ate what we had. My horses? Lord Hector's horses. You slaughtered them! Not me. Then who? Behold the consequence of your cruelty, Majesty. He should have put her to death for her insolence. What kind of a king starves his people? You were fighting a war. You had to win. I ruled badly. You made the decisions you needed to make. I slaughtered half the population. What if I've gone too far and it can't be put right, like the horses? Well, persecuting yourself won't change anything. Like I persecuted my country. Oh, Majesty! Kier should have killed me when he had the chance. Your men must not hear you speak this way. That's why the sword of kingship crumbled in my hands. You have the loyalty of your country. But I don't have a sword. 
or a wizard. You're the God's chosen king. You have your judgment. I know that there is something I must do. But what? Well, first you need to rest, Majesty. Where is my sister Morgan? Well? Gone, Majesty. Gone where? On Merlin's business. She's gone to see Rhiannon, isn't she? I honestly don't know. I'm going to her now. I must go to her. Is that wise, Majesty? Rhiannon loves me, and I love her. First, you must return the Princess Gwenvar to her father's house. Why must I babysit a twelve-year-old? You gave her father your word. But I have done Rhiannon terrible wrong. And Lord Lot. You have wronged Lot too. Arthur! Oh. And now I must put things right. I must. Any action you take now will only heap dishonour upon dishonour. You must leave Rhiannon and be. I will never see her again, will I? Never see who again? You shouldn't be out here, Grandpa. I've been looking for you everywhere. Didn't you hear me calling? We shall leave for Kirlion within the hour. Now, let's get back to the fortress. Does that mean you don't want to hear it? Hear what, Charles? The wizard's message. What message? He said I'm not to tell you. By all the gods, girl, if, if the you... king asks you a question... Not until you've returned me safely to my father's house. And that's all he said? No. He said to tell you it had something to do with a sword. I said that's enough, Rihanna. I will not have that witch in my house a moment longer. She means to help you. By spying on me. I'm as unhappy about her being here. Then do you... something about it. What would you suggest? Isn't it enough I carry Arthur's child? Which Arthur will never acknowledge. Oh, if that's true, then why has he sent Morgan here? I don't know. You're lying. No, wife, I'm not. She watches me all the time. Some people are just plain rude. I hate her! But I, Morgan, my sisters and brothers, sister to the king and true witness to his every deed... I'm not a girl to be easily discouraged. I won't be spoken to like a child. Then stop behaving like why that. Why can't you just find her and ask her to leave? I've already told you why, and I'm not going to argue about this any more. The king has dishonoured you, and now he sends his sister to gloat at our ruin. No, Rihanna. Yes. No. How can you stand there and do nothing? Because, wife, it is not only the king who has dishonoured me, is it? You get down at the next crossroads, Gwenva. I like riding on your horse. No arguments. Now, tell me everything Merlin said to you. I already told you. There was nothing more? I'm not to say, Majesty. This is some ruse of yours, child. Why would I trick you? I will you? be very angry. I'm not lying, and I'm not afraid of you like everybody else is. We'll see, won't we? They say Merlin can make himself into the shape of any animal he chooses. Do they? Get up there. They say he can soar through the air like a mighty eagle. Really? Does talking to me bother you, Majesty? You are my guest. But you don't care for me, do you? Meaning what? You think I'm silly. I think you need to be safely home at your father's court. Come on! Look at you, Morgan. Look at you, Lot. So, where did you find this Rhiannon of yours? She was shipwrecked here. And her parents? Lost. <laughs> you weren't tempted to kill her, then? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> come, come, Lot. I don't. Then permit me to remind you. I understand how easy it must be to forget murdering my three-year-old sister. It was Uther's order. And you obeyed it. Those were bad times. They were indeed. And have no weight in the present situation. Not for you, perhaps. But there's not a day goes by that I do not feel my sister's suffering. Tell me, did you flinch before you cut her throat? Did Merlin send you here to berate me? No, he asked me to come and keep an eye on your stupid little slut wife. And to gloat at my dishonour. She's pretty, I'll give her that. Arthur seduced her. Are you suggesting he took her by force? No, I'm not. I, I'm... You're what? 
I should never have allowed her to accompany me to the Great Henge. You were probably worried she'd run off with some Orkney scallywag. <laughs> how dare you speak to me like that? Well, how would you prefer I spoke to my sister's killer? The servants can hear you shouting, husband. Rhiannon, what are the two of you talking about? Nothing that need concern you. You asked how you should address your sister's killer. The whole house heard it. This is nothing that concerns you, wife. After all, we'd be curious about a little thing like that. Perhaps... Morgan, you would be good enough to leave this house right now. You can assure the king and his wizard they will see no trouble from Orkney. Very wise. But it strikes me hard that you come here to my husband's house and talk of murder when Arthur butchers half the land. And suffers for it. Not as I suffer. Oh, God. Or does the king intend to come up here and rip his baby from my womb? The king knows nothing of your dishonour. Nothing? We feel it's better this way. Oh, do we? Perhaps it would be better if we all retired for the night. You think I cannot see how convenient it would be if I were to lose this baby? That is not why I'm here. No? No. But how do we know that? Because I have said so. How do I know you won't enchant me as I sleep oh. or poison my oh. wife? This is ridiculous. My baby's life to pay for your sister's. You will not speak of her. You see... To put it simply, I am confused as to the Lord High Wizard's definition of courtesy. She comes to gloat at our dishonour. Even to the point of the wizard giving her my brooch. What brooch? I asked the wizard to give one exactly the same to the king. I see he gave it to you instead. What are you talking about? Two dragons curled around a sword. This was given me by Yvaine, my mother. Impossible. How dare you? Impossible, because my mother gave one exactly the same to me, didn't she, Lot? You gave Mark Orsis brooch to her? No, Morgan. Murderer and thief! You're not listening. Then what? I'm sure you're quite capable of working it out for yourself. This can't be so. I disobeyed Uther's order. I don't understand. Perhaps you would like to explain it to her, Morgan. She cannot be Margot's. Margot's? My parents drowned. The worst storm you'd ever seen. Look into your heart, Morgan. You know I speak true. The waves that reach the fortress roof. What do you mean? You disobeyed the order. The night of Arthur's birth at Tintagel, Uther gave me orders to kill both of Yvain's daughters. You and Merlin escaped with the baby, leaving Margot's. Uh, and you... I don't kill children, Morgan. Not then, not now. Speak plainly, husband. Rhiannon, you must know that what I did, I did to protect you, just as I have always done. You were barely three years old. What could you possibly remember? What are you saying, Lot? Well... You are Margot's, youngest daughter of Vortigern and Yvain. And Morgan is... Your elder sister. But Yvain was Arthur's mother. No. No. No, it cannot be so. It cannot. I cannot. Listen to me, sister. Listen to me. I carry my brother's child. I shall speak with Merlin. Merlin hates us. He will never protect this child. I'll reason with him. We'll need more than a conversation with a wizard to protect us. And you will be protected, sister. You will both be protected. I swear it. wizard give a message to my daughter? One she was forbidden to tell me until she arrived safely at your house. My daughter speaks only of your courage. She's a fine child, my lord. And will one day make a finer queen. Or a finer king than I. Uh, surely we can persuade you to stay with us a day or two longer. Your hospitality overwhelms me, but sadly I cannot. Another night at least. My mind is made up, my lord. As I see. Bring the Princess Gwenva here. Immediately, my lord. So tell me, Majesty, do you think we can defeat the Saxon? With your army's support from the West, we can make the Eastern Shores invincible. You shall have it. And may the gods go with them. You sent for me, Father? Yes, daughter. 
I believe the Lord High Wizard left a message with you for the King. I may not be able to remember it. Princess Gwenva, you must... Thank you, my Lord. Gwenva, if you have a message for the King, then you must speak it now. But then he'll go away. He will return, I'm sure. Isn't that right, Majesty? As soon as I can. When this quest of yours is done, your promise? That I will give, and gladly. Now the message, daughter. South of Caelion, look for the forest which starts where two streams meet. Is that all? In amongst the apple groves is where you will find your sword. The apple groves? You're sure he said the apple groves? I am, my lord. My lord Leoda grants I must leave you immediately. Uh, please let me supply you with a band of men. Where I go next, I go alone. The country here is wild and dangerous. I shall take Bedvere and no other. My thanks again, my lord. I have your promise that you will return, don't I? You have my promise, sweet flower of Kyrlion. Does she sleep? Finally. She's terrified. If the king cannot acknowledge his child, then Merlin must. I've already said I'll bring the child up as my own. Now, this is Arthur's firstborn. The firstborn of the god's own chosen king. His bloodline must be protected. Rhiannon's child will be Lot of Orkney's child. Oh. Arthur's child will need more than you, old man. You think Merlin will agree to help? We'll have to see. I never knew the wizard do one thing he didn't want to, Morgan. Lord, I... I misjudged you. Rhiannon should have been told the truth years ago. But I... Sometimes lies are harder to break than promises. All will be well. You'll see. Rhiannon made me better. A better man. I shall return very soon. Where are you going? Look after my sister. May I speak freely, Majesty? How many times must I tell you, Bedvere? It's Arthur. Arthur. Arthur, did the wizard really give no other clue as to where we were supposed to go? The forest that starts... Where two streams meet, I know. But that could be anywhere. Not anywhere. Somewhere near. The rook's a bad omen. Keep riding. And the clouds are darkening. Storm's coming. Perhaps the gods are angry. Don't break faith with me, Bedvere. Never, Majesty. And trust. And on they go, following the stream as it skittles through valleys untended for centuries. The horses are exhausted. And you and they rest here. I'll go on alone. I can't permit that. Don't worry. Arthur? Wound. Does it bleed? No, no. It's just a pain. I say we ride back to Tintagel and fetch more men. Tintagel is three days' ride from here. But you're sick, Majesty. And we'll go on, Bedvere. With or without you. Ride up there. Yeah! Come on. Neither boy so much as glances at the sparrow swerving deep into the heart of the forest. Now timbering along the river's rain-soaked banks. Easy, boy. Easy. Why are we stopping? Smell. I can't <sighs> smell anything. Just there, on the breeze. Apples. Apples. <sighs> and look there. Oh, please, Arthur. <sighs> The forest where two streams meet. We've found it, Bedvere. We've found it. <laughs> Who's there? Where? In those trees there. I'll see. No, Arthur! Show yourself. I said show yourself. Have, have mercy, my lord. Have mercy. We'll not harm you. you, you you're Arthur's men. I know you're Arthur's men. <sighs> Get back there, you. Do you as your honor commands. That's enough, Bedvere. We want nothing from you, my brother. I ain't no brother of yours. I'm putting my sword down, see? We've seen what Arthur does to them what fought with Bryce. Seen the heads they take as trophies. The good blood spilt. Uh, seen it all. What's your name? Don't have a name. Everyone has a name. Not everyone. Not anymore. 
Where's your village? Ain't got no village. Maybe I did once. Maybe not. If I did, I'll wager it's all burnt up now. Same as all the others. The Civil War is over. Arthur says he wants the heads of every man what fought against him. Not now he don't. Oh, says you. Says Arthur. You speak for Arthur, do you? I am he. <laughs> well, that, that make me Merlin. <laughs> Take care of this man, Bedwick. But, Majesty... Just do it. Well, why is he calling you, Majesty? Come along now. You, you, you get away from me. You will not be harmed. <laughs> you have my promise. <laughs> I don't know who you are, my lord, but, but I beg you, show mercy. I ask for your forgiveness. What's he doing on his knees? Attend to your king. He's got a spirit in him. Forest is full of spirits. I swear, before you gods who chose me as their unworthy king, that it will not be me who raises arms against my own again. Now, wait with him here, Bedvir. Where are you going? The forest. On your own? Watch for me here. Forest sacred. Gods gather there, they say. Sometimes you hear them singing. Take care of this man, Bedvir. Majesty. But follow me now, my sisters and brothers, as we ease our way through thick foliage and scrub, until all at once we discover that worn little sparrow. Merlin! Merlin! But watch now as it coils itself in upon itself, as from that swirl of feathers a sprawl of human flesh appears. Wizard? Morgan? What an unexpected pleasure. The flesh of she who addresses you now, deep in the grove in the heart of the wood. I listened you out. That was clever of you. Don't patronise me. I trust the lovely Rhiannon thrives? I know who she is, Merlin. Ah, I feared you might. However, did you come here? As a sparrow? You took its shape? Evidently. Oh, my compliments. Why didn't you stop them when they met? And interfere with Arthur's fate? I would have thought you'd have approved of my restraint. You must be exhausted after your flight. But what are we going to do about the child? Remember when we first came here, Morgan? Of course. You, me and Arthur, safe here in the grove. A long time ago. We were happy, weren't we? Until you decided that you and Arthur needed to leave. That was the will of the gods. Uther was too close. And so you abandoned me here? As you say, a long time ago. Not to me, wizard. You built a platform in that apple tree. Such a brilliant child. Merlin! Actually, I really don't know. Shouldn't Arthur be told? To what purpose? It is his child. Not exactly fitting, is it? corrupt product of an incestuous bed. Rhiannon and her baby need to be protected. If you won't tell Arthur, then I will. So that Arthur's shame can walk the world. You know as well as I do, we cannot tolerate this child's existence. You will not harm it. And if you tell Arthur, what then? What then, Morgan? Another civil war? The country torn apart? All we've worked for ruined? All you've worked for? Before you learnt the truth about Rhiannon, you couldn't have cared less about this child. Well, I care now. It would be better it were never born. What? The child is an aberration. Not to the gods. Where's Arthur now? On his way here, I hope. Who guides him? He guides himself. You're bringing him here? To build his kingdom. In this place? Exactly here. This is the sacred grove. You can join us. Or fly away, little sparrow. Oh. Now, I have things to do. The, the gods will never allow you to desecrate their most sacred place. The gods demand it. And this child? I've said all I'll say on the matter. And what of its birthright? It has no birthright. Have you forgotten? When we saved Arthur all those years ago, you and I escaping from Uther... We did the gods' work. Then we must do the gods' work again and save Rhiannon's child. No. And I'll say no more on the subject. Oh, now, please, Morgan, forget this business. Live here with us, as befits the sister of the king. I will protect it then. Then, 
you and I will be enemies. So be it. There's no need for this. I won't let you harm this child. Then I must turn my back on you, Morgan. Just as you turned your back on Rhiannon. We must forget Rhiannon. Rhiannon gave you a brooch that belonged to our mother. <sighs> this little thing. She intended it for Arthur. Such beautiful workmanship. The way the dragons seem almost to be part of the sword. Exquisite. Let me take it back to her. No. Morning! It is all she has of our mother. And now I must give it to the lake. I'm sorry, Morgan. No, we... no don't throw it in. No. Gone and fare thee well. Oh, I will kill you for that. The lake is very deep. Oh. You'll never find it. Morning. Arthur, at last. Is that Morgan? I will kill you for that, wizard! My love has gone walking, he spreads no offence. My love has gone walking, there's no recompense. At least taste the broth, Rhiannon. The baby within me grows heartier by the hour. Just try a little. How does the baby get heartier when I do not? Morgan will return to us soon. She and the wizard have been our ruin. That's not so. They laugh at us. Arthur, too. What is it? Uh, he kicks. The wizard has done for us, my husband. He wants this baby dead. Morgan will make things right. No. My poor dear husband. She won't. You see, there's no power on earth can put this right. Uh, what is it? Uh, Rhiannon? The baby. Uh, it's coming. But it's not time. It's coming. Oh. Come into the grove, Arthur. I need to speak with you. But what about Merlin? The wizard prays beside the lake, and what I have to say to you, I must say in private. Why? Just come. So? Tonight I leave this place. What? There is urgent business I must attend to. I forbid you to go. Then come with me, Arthur. But what about Merlin? We could be gone before he knows it. But I've travelled so far to find the grove again. And then to find you and Merlin here, just as it was when we were children, safe, here in the grove. But you are the king now. Forge your own path. I can't abandon Merlin. His arrogance knows no bounds. He is a great wizard. He will destroy himself and you, Arthur. Come with me. What? Be guided by your own spirit. You're confusing me. Am I? There's something else. Something you're not telling me. Choose to come with me this night and find out for yourself. Is it Rhiannon? I know you visited her. We can be gone within the hour. I have dishonoured Lot's house and mine. I cannot. Can't you? Is she well? She thrives. But does she mention me when you're alone? It's not for me to say. What? You heard me, brother. You will answer my question. You must answer it for yourself. Does she mention me? Ask after me. Well, Morgan, does she? I'm begging you, wizard. He must know the truth. Must know the truth about what? Is Rhiannon in trouble? Your destiny lies here, beside this lake, Arthur. She is, isn't she? It's your choice. What's wrong with her? Tell me, what's wrong? Choose. What's she talking about? Choose. You have a choice, boy, to ride out on the open road with your sister, squander all you have achieved, give up your kingdom, betray the loyalty of your men and subjects just to learn the truth about another man's wife. Morgan, tell me true. Is Rhiannon in trouble? Will it make a difference if she is? Could you answer a simple question? And if the answer is yes, will you come with me? She is married to Lot. Lot is an old man. You could wait for her to be free. And grow old myself. If it meant you had your heart's desire. Then she's well. I told you she thrives. Would you turn your back on the gods, boy? After all they have bestowed upon you? Of course not. Then you have your answer, Morgan. Do I have my answer, Arthur? But we're together again. Here in the grove. You, me, and Merlin. Just as it was when we were children. Very well.
Farewell then, little brother. Farewell. Wait. Wait! You haven't answered my question. Did Rhiannon ask after me? Arthur, stay here and you and your kingdom will be cursed. Oh! Rhiannon! What is it? It's Rhiannon. Rhiannon's in pain. Morgan! We shall see each other again, my brother. Until then, farewell. Where are you going? Breathe, boy. I will find you, Morgan. I will find you wherever you go. What do you mean you'll find her? Do you think you can walk? Where's Morgan gone? Look, try and stand up. Where? Oh! And I flew, oh, I flew, a tiny sparrow buffeting northward, battling down the mocking blast of four screaming winds. Oh, Keep breathing. You shouldn't be here, Lord. Don't let go of my hand. Never, my love. Never. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. She's in pain, Merlin. I know Rhiannon's in pain. Take my hand and come with me to the lake. It's like she's dying. Is she dying? We don't have a moment to waste. Uh, why must everything I love be lost? So that you value what you gain. But I love her, Merlin. I love her with all my heart. Ah! Concentrate on the lake, Arthur. Look at the lake. And just as Arthur fixes his eyes upon the lake, a tiny sparrow alights on an Orkney Castle wall. Oh, Morgan. What is it? My poor, poor girl. Lord? Her mind's not right. It's all right, my sister. It's all right. By all the power of land and sea, by all the might of moon and sun, I call upon you, Nimue, subtle goddess of the sacred lake and grove. Come to us. What's happening to the lake, Merlin? Concentrate, boy. Say nothing during the invocation. But... Just the... watch. By all the power of land and sea, by all the might of moon and sun, I call upon you, Nimue, subtle goddess of the sacred lake and grove. Come to us. Um. Come to us. The water swirls in all directions. Come to us. We should leave this place, Merlin. Hold fast, boy. You see it? This is great magic. What do you see? A hand rising from the lake. A hand holding a sword. Take the sword the goddess offers you. I am not worthy of it. Take it! I'm afraid, Merlin. Really afraid. Were you afraid when you pulled the sword from the stone? And you know better, then. The gods have waited for you so long. And if I don't accept it... That's for you to decide. I don't know what to do. Choose. Uh, but, Brianna... Choose. I claim it! I claim this sword in the name of Arthur... Son of Uther, Lord of Dragons. You have a son, my love. A son? A beautiful son. Don't you want to hold him? Hold him? Take your baby, sister. Rhiannon? Take him away. But it's your turn. I said take him away. Please. Take him away. Oh, that there was some magic I could make to comfort my so long lost, so long sought after sister. I never want to see him. Never. Never. But there was no spell on earth to mend the broken heart in her. 
There is no spell on earth to stop the light in her from fading, like the last light of the year. And the goddess of the lake gave you the sword? The gods have given me another chance, Bedvir. <sighs> a chance to put things right. Send word to Tintagel and gather our men at Dover. There is Saxon business to be settled. <sighs> but as for Arthur... Is that where Merlin's gone? Merlin's staying here. Why, the king truly thrives. He told me he would be gone a few days. He said nothing to me. Well, the wizard knows his own mind. As ever. But, look, Bedvere. You see the hill above the Great Lake? I do. It's there that I shall build my fortress. By the sacred grove? And that fortress... That fortress will be the greatest in all the world. Look closely now, as in the quiet of the grove, the wizard nods his head and whispers the ancient spells of changing. Count the elements fourfold. In the fifth, the spell shall hold. And in the blink of an old man's eye, an eagle soars skywards from the tattered folds of the wizard's gown. Rhiannon? Who's that? Your sister, Morgan. My sister? I have no sister. Please, come down with me. I like being up here. On a clear day, you can see all across the islands. I must speak with you urgently. You and your child may be in great danger. My child? What child? The child you gave birth to not seven hours ago. <laughs> Which child is this? Merlin is coming here this night, and he means us harm. I met Merlin once. A long, long time ago. A mighty wizard lot says. I gave him something. But I can't remember what. Lot has a boat ready to take you both away from here. Away from Lot? Please, Rhiannon, I know how terrible this is for you. The waves are wild tonight, are they not? And so far below us. No, please, please, step down from that ledge. Such a long way down. Is she up here, Morgan? Husband? What are you doing, my love? I wanted to see the islands. The islands? The way you showed me. Remember when you showed me. Why don't we look at them again tomorrow, in the sunshine? Can't I wait for the sun to rise? Please, Rhiannon, come down. Listen to your husband, sister. Why does she keep calling me sister? Approach. I gave the wizard my mother's brooch. Why would I give... Oh, yes. I remember. Rihanna, keep away from the ledge. Stay with me, Rihanna, please. And we'll all go down where it's warm. I'm so sorry, my husband. I'm so, so sorry. No! Rihanna! Rihanna! I don't want to get up on that horse, Bedvere. Just do as you're told. Why? Because the king commands it. Well, what if I don't want to? I don't have to. Then you can stay here, in the forest where we found you. Look, threats now, is it? Very nice. And why is everyone calling me Boars? The name's stuck. Travelling east now, Arthur's mighty armies head out to battle the Saxon. Oh, I never asked anyone to call me Boars. My horse, please! <laughs> While at that very moment... A great eagle sets itself down in Orkney. Lot, I'm sorry for your loss, but I must find the child. Now, for the last time. They've gone. They didn't say where. You must know something. My girl is dead, 
Her child is gone. Now leave me to grieve, Merlin. Yours is a noble name. You wouldn't want it dishonored any more than it is. I loved her, Merlin. Loved her as I have no other. And I feel for you, but finding this child is a matter of the greatest urgency. Be gone from Orkney, wizard. You forget yourself. I said, be gone. And with the merest wave of a hand, a year passes. As every day, a princess of Kielion stares across empty fields, safe behind long protected walls. Will Arthur ever return to Kielion, Father? Arthur fights our Saxon enemies, Grenville. But he gave his promise. And will one day keep it? Only which day will that be? He's been gone a year now. When the battle's won, daughter. But will that battle ever be won? Of course. Try not to distress yourself, daughter. You see, Father, I have a feeling. A feeling that I shall be waiting for him forever. Akir's men in position. They are, Majesty. Brothers of Britain, today we drive all invaders from our shores. Today we fight as brothers and send the Saxon home. Behold, my brothers, the new sword of the king. Behold, Excalibur! But in a humble croft, Far, far away from the now all too familiar screams of war, a tender eyed boy crawls uncertainly toward a table. <laughs> That's a good boy, Mordred. <laughs> That's my good, good boy. But attend closely to these babies, cries my sisters and brothers. For within them is sealed the destiny of a king. In Arthur, the Lake, Arthur was played by Ben Wishaw and Merlin by Ian McDermott. The older Morgan was Jane Lapeterre and the young Morgan, Eve Best. Gowra was played by Pam Ferris, Bedvere by Sean Dooley, King Lot by Clive Russell, Bors by Robert Hasty, and Rhiannon by Emily Wachter. Philip Joseph was King Leo de Grance of Kielion, and Alice Ford was Princess Gwenver. Music was by Zbigniew Preissner, with additional composition by Lucinda Mason Brown. Arthur, the Lake was written by Sebastian Bonchkiewicz and directed by Jeremy Mortimer. <laughs>